Hello everyone, welcome to another week uh, of the Australian Real Estate News Weekly Highlight. This is Peter Lee, uh, it's a cold winter. If you want to know the news uh, in a short snap of time and understanding how Sydney market goes, please make sure you subscribe to our channel, uh, Sydney Resi on YouTube. Um, and then uh, if you're interested in the show, uh, please make sure you send it to your friends uh, and then comment, uh, make us do better and click that little like button uh, to make our life a little bit better. Uh, and if you're a Sydney, please visit the Plus Agency's um, uh, official uh, Cheswood store, uh, which is located at 418 Victoria Avenue in Cheswood. Um, all right, with no further ado, let's get new started. First of all, uh, let's have a look at the Sydney property boom. Uh, winter market to remain hot as listing increase. So this is a typical auction uh, you're going to see in anywhere uh, in Sydney uh, at a house or townhouse duplex uh, sort of thing. Uh, and then the soon apartment market uh, to be. Uh, and then uh, obviously it's got a little bit chill uh, this week. Uh, people start to put on more clothes on. However, the heat of the market never slows down at all, uh, as we always say. Uh, a lot of people had the idea in their mind, which is why wait? Uh, and then uh, obviously uh, the fear of missing out and also uh, uh, you know, there's no alternative, uh, make people want to jump into it even more. At the moment, there are about 20,000 listings across Sydney, uh, which is a, an increase uh, since the uh, last few months. And then, uh, but it doesn't matter how many listings we got, uh, people start still buying them really quickly and they're being sold really quickly. However, even at 20,000 listings, it's still less uh, than the 27,000 listings uh, in May uh, 2019. Uh, or, uh, you know, in May 2018, uh, which back then it was 28,000. So still uh, in the market, there's a bit of a lack of supply for sure. Uh, and then uh, looks like this heat is going to go on for a little bit longer. We don't know when it's going to end, but we sure know that at the moment now, uh, people are not afraid to buy properties in Sydney and pay big prices. All right, talking about big prices, uh, go to Sydney auction. Big block helps Roseview house sells for $5.2 million. A little bit old, doesn't matter. No pool, doesn't matter. Uh, single level, doesn't matter. Uh, you know, as long as it's a house, as long as it's a big land, uh, people are paying big prices for it. Today, uh, another one I've sold the Roseview at $5.2 million, $850,000 above the reserve. Uh, the guy was only $4 million. So, uh, you know, reserve price was $4.35 million, which consider already quite, quite aggressive. However, uh, a crowd of 100 people witnessed this auction, 16 bidders registered with Stone Real, uh, Real Estate Agent, uh, and then uh, one bidder and another, um, you know, it was all over the place uh, until people really into the hot, uh, you know, the hot bidding at $5 million, and this 910 square meter block has been sold for Five million dollar, uh, five point two million dollar, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, absolutely amazing. All right, let's have a look. Uh, blow out the water within seconds. Uh, Morris and red brick houses sells for three point three million. Um, Benny Lee uh, holding the eighty eight lucky number. Uh, Peter Card um, has bought a concrete house uh, turned into duplex. This one was purely a war between the developers, and depend on who is the better one. Uh, they all seem to be pretty strong and wanted to work away with this piece of land. Um, started at 2.8 million, silent. However, after the first one started to beat, people started to get in and become a two horse race. Uh, it became a two horse race uh, between, as I mentioned, developers. And then the prices goes up and up and up until it got sold at two point, uh, from $2.8 million uh, until it got sold at $3.3 million. Old house really nothing much to keep, uh, it really it just buy it for the land. All right, Renwick House, price record broken again. Uh, Renwick, uh, this little pocket in east, a little bit to the southern side of Sydney, had sold for $8.5 million, which is record breaking for the suburb. $2 million over the price guide in three days, uh, which is absolutely Crazy. <laughs> this is an amazing market. 27 Bishop Avenue. Uh, you know, uh, it was done by Real Home Double Bay, uh, an eastern suburb agent. 
uh, and then the price guide is only 6.5 million uh, scheduled for the 10th of June for the auction has sold on Wednesday night for more than 8.5 million through a private treaty uh, you know two parties all competing at the mid 800 uh, 8 million dollar range until one of the one one of the buyer end up with 8.5 million and pocket this particular property and the same same seller uh, the vendor of the property immediately after sold it for five eight point five million has went into Clovely and smashed the Clovely uh, sub record uh, with uh, around 13.5 million dollar sale uh, and this is absolutely crazy uh, grandson from a very famous developer uh, you know property developer in Sydney um, after sale 27 Bishop Avenue Randwick has bought uh, 12 Victoria Street Clovely and then uh, paid for $13.5 million, break the re uh, suburb record. So it was the same group of people who started breaking records across different places within a week time. And this is how crazy the market is. And also why people pay so much money because they can get that much money. Uh, that's how it works in this particular market. Houses take a backseat to apartments in top lower North Shore sales. As I always say, after the house market start to boom, uh, you know, the apartment will follow after. Um, you know, townhouse, now the prices are sky high. Uh, and then uh, $3 million for duplex or townhouse now in Mossman. And then uh, houses, you'll be looking at about $6 million, $8 million, $10 million easily in Mossman. So after all that happens, apartments start to kick back into the market. So now apartment become the stream, uh, the mainstream uh, of lower North Shore market now after quite a few weeks of hot, hot housing market. Um, number four, slash 70 Bradley Head Road in Mossman has sold for 3.5 million, uh, where the price guide is only 3 million to 3.3 million. So apartments now start to sell before auction at higher price than the price guide now uh, in lower North Shore. Uh, and this is not a singularity event. Um, actually, it goes uh, you know, cross the board. Buyers start to skip auctions. Uh, this two better at number two slash 131 Crimber Road uh, has came to the market. Um, you know, with the local agent from Neutral Bay, had a price guide at 1.35 million. Buyers skip the um, the auction. Six group people inspected and up selling for 1.475 million before the auction. Um, you know, so this is obviously a, a market where. Uh, some investors are seeking the sub $2 million market now in Lower North Shore. It looks like a apartment market, the boom is soon to come. Birch Grove Home with the City View sells for $5.4 million at the auction following a four-way bid war. Uh, Clovely is a uh, Bridge Grove is a very interesting suburb. Uh, in that area, uh, there are not many big houses. Uh, people are talking about uh, you know 400 square meter, 500 square meter of land, and that is about it. Uh, this particular uh, house in Spring Street residence uh, at Bridge Grove has sold over the weekend for 5.4 million in the auction packed. Um, in the action pack auction uh, this is uh, it's got re ceiling uh, it's got a very nice view uh, which is very rare for that particular area uh, and then end up buying by a buyer who lives less than 500 meters away from this particular property so it looks like not only the people from outside the suburb are strong people from local are also very very strong last one Ten Asia pays four point nine five million for seven bedroom dual mansion with terrain and lake. Uh, yes, you can own your private lake in Sydney. And this eighteen year old student uh, uh, from China has absolutely smashed the record, uh, you know, um, of of Duro, uh, You know, by uh, being the youngest buyer uh, of that particular area. Uh, daughter uh, of uh, Zhou Jianming, uh, who is a uh, Chinese businessman, um, you know, paid, you know, 4.95 million for this property. Uh, this is just, yeah, this is just, this is just how it is now. Uh, you know, people are looking to get big land. People are looking at to get big mansions and they're not afraid of putting money in, uh, you know, so this is how the market is. Not only attracts people from living around 500 meters away, uh, to the people all the way coming from China and overseas uh, trying to buy into Australia. And this is 
the charm of Sydney market uh, looks like this particular market is going to boom as it is uh, and keep going throughout this cold winter. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Peter Lee. Looking forward to see you next Sunday. If you like our channel, please subscribe. It will be the biggest support to us. Have a good weekend. Bye.